Hi guys, welcome back to part 2 of body shaming. So today I'm going to continue where I left off last week and that is I'm going to tell you how you can deal with body shaming in a positive manner. Do not forget to like, share and comment on this video if you liked it and of course do subscribe to my channel. I'll be coming up with more content every week. So without any further ado, let's get started. Number one, that this is not about you. When a person body shames you, it is often a reflection of their own insecurities or it may be to make them feel better about themselves and also it speaks volumes about their own misconceptions and biases and it has nothing personal to do with you. So don't ever think that there is something wrong with you and that you have to change something to please them because trust me that is not at all true. You should also know that people often do this without realizing that they're doing it because uh, body shaming and perfection has been way too normalized in our society and so for a lot of people it doesn't signify something else to them it's just a way of you know dealing with what the society tells you anger is a totally acceptable response in such situations but sometimes so is ignorance because some people simply do it to provoke you and if you remain unruffled they lose so sometimes ignorance works best too Instead of responding to body shaming negatively by say getting angry or sad and putting yourself down even more, treat this as an opportunity in disguise to educate them so you make them understand why what they're doing is wrong and uh, you know how a profound an impact it can have on some people. So you need to make them realize that what they're doing is not good and it can really really change some people's lives. So take this as an opportunity to really change their perspective. Never respond with equally body shaming comments. So for example, if someone shames you, that doesn't mean you shame them back because then there is no difference between you and them. Next thing is, uh, this is very important and that is body language. Now body language gives a lot away about what you think about yourself and your self-esteem and your self-confidence. So, uh, you know, whenever a person shames you, never ever, uh, you know, give them the impression that you are weak or meager, that you agree with them. And one way to ensure that you don't do that is through body language. So always stand straight and look into their eyes and be confident because that will just make them realize that, you know, they cannot just take you for granted and uh, shame you or insult you. So always be confident within yourself and even if you are inwardly uh, nervous or scared, never ever show that to the shamer because that just gives them more power. Keep away from the negative people and people who put you down and instead surround yourself with optimists, people who make you feel good about yourself and even people who are neutral. So, uh, you know, this is how you... Uh, learn to love yourself and ironically self-esteem has a lot to do with others and the company that you keep so never ever uh, you know stay in the company of people who belittle you or make you feel inferior acceptance is the single most important thing that is going to help you get over this insecurity and the only way to do that is you need to figure out uh, some way in which you can uh, you know accept your body and look past your flaws because you need to realize that everyone in this world is flawed in some way or the other because like I said perfection just doesn't exist in this world maybe in an ideal world but definitely not in the real world and look past your uh, insecurities that's when uh, you can start using your flaws as a shield instead of others using it as a weapon to hurt you or humiliate you always always stand up against body shaming and uh, this is similar to the point that I mentioned earlier, which is to educate others. Uh, but this is slightly different because even if you are not the person who is being shamed, even if you are just uh, a witness to uh, body shaming, always only stand up against it and uh, speak out because that is the only thing that's going to change whatever is happening and you being quiet is not going to help you have to speak out against it you also need to understand that not everyone will understand your point of view or your opinion and that is totally all right as well what is important is that you understand yourself and you guide yourself to be happy and love your own body always make yourself feel good uh, don't ever wallow in self-pity or punish yourself in any way uh, you know, just find ways to make yourself feel better and, you know, just be positive. You need to find ways to empower yourself in any way that you can because there are enough people in the world who are going to do the exact opposite of that. So you need to figure out a way uh, through which you can uh, give yourself more power and make yourself feel better. 
Don't ever give in to your inner bully, the part of you that tells you that there's something wrong with you. Instead, create an inner supporter. Thank your body for everything that is that it does for you. You know, it basically it keeps you alive, and that is just that is beautiful. And you need to thank your body for doing that for you. I mean, imagine how difficult it would be if you had to remember to breathe every second, or if you had to remember to digest your food every second. Your body does all of that involuntarily. and it keeps you alive so you need to thank your body and instead of being ashamed be grateful you need to count your blessings instead of counting your flaws keep in mind that you can still work towards the health goals that you want to achieve with love and acceptance instead of punishment to end this on a good note i would uh, like to tell you guys about a quote that totally changed my perspective towards my own body and it's by rumi if i'm not wrong so uh, it goes like this I am not this hair I am not this skin I am the soul that lives within and I just think this quote is so empowering and so beautiful and if it helps you in any way then great uh, by any means go ahead and you know you could try stuff like saying it to yourself every time someone makes you feel bad about yourself okay so that is it for today you guys do share this video with your friends and family to make them aware and uh, don't forget to leave a like down there and comment if you enjoy this video and i'll be coming up with new content every week so do stay tuned and i will see you next week bye